All right, examining the two carburetors, this is the original and this is the retrofit, which is actually an older vintage carburetor. Uh, you see some striking similarities and then there are some definite differences. This carburetor is designed to operate the engine at a fixed speed, so it has this little piece of linkage that connects to a regulator that is actuated by air current generated by the cooling fan of the engine and it pulls against that spring that you see and keeps the engine running at a constant speed approximately 3400 RPM um, the older style carburetor was designed to be a variable throttle but the mounting screw is in the same position as the frame for the spring. The only thing I'm going to have to change on here is I'm going to have to drill a small hole right about there to match the old carburetor and I should be able to utilize that linkage one for one to turn this carburetor into a constant speed carburetor rather than a variable speed carburetor. Now the most important difference is the fuel pickup. Notice at the bottom of this carburetor the fuel pickup sat inside the gas tank. Here's the top of the gas tank and here's that little here's that little uh, chamber I was telling you about. This is a spillover right here. So the level of the fuel is the distance from the top of the gas tank to the to the edge of this spillover. That means that fuel in the carburetor would normally rise to about here and the the pickup is immersed in fuel that is constantly regulated to about that depth below the, below the carburetor inside the pickup you see the fixed jet which is what sets the mixture the run mixture of this carburetor and this screw right here is the idle adjustment mixture okay that's that's the newer style carburetor the older style carburetor you'll notice instead of having a jet for the pickup it just has a a dip tube with a screen and the actual mixture is adjusted by setting this screw here so this carburetor is going to work for the application that i have intended for it uh, it will allow me to adjust the mixture of the gasoline under load and that's what I need because we need to determine whether or not I can reliably and safely lean the mixture out under load in the presence of HHO. That's the whole point of this test and if that succeeds then we will be able to prove uh, that the engine can run uh, more efficiently with HHO generated by the mechanical energy of the engine itself. Alright so I've been continuing to work on the uh, retrofitted carb for the runtime test jig and my progress has been nothing short of spectacular very very happy with the way things are going uh, here is the retrofitted linkage with the return spring that will give me the constant speed regulation as the old carb I drilled a new hole in the throttle linkage, or in the, yes, in the throttle linkage right here, to receive the control arm. The castings are are almost identical. Many of the uh, many of the screw mounting points are in exactly the same place. So this point right here, I was able to secure the throttle adjustment right there and I can adjust the speed by simply moving this arm back or forward to set the actual run speed of the engine. This again is the idle and run mixture adjustment screw and in just a second I'm going to show you uh, how the interior of the gasoline canister came together. Alright so here you see the bottom of the carburetor now with the jar removed. Uh, to the right is the 
primary fuel pickup tube which brings the, uh, the the raw fuel from the bottom of the of the glass jar and it it dumps it into the little uh, catch basin that's at the top of the jar if you look carefully you can see I've cut an opening at the top that acts as a spillway which will set the level of the fuel that the uh, that the dip tube sucks the fuel up into so that that's acting like a uh, like a float level would in a standard carburetor it's just held into place by a piece of by a piece of galvanized steel strapping secured to the base of the lid at the bottom and there's nothing else holding in place other than the pressure of this uh, of this metal strap so it all goes together now very very easily and uh, just take it like this. Now once this is affixed to the engine, I will actually put the measured amounts of fuel in the carburetor in the jar first and then assemble it to the bottom of the carburetor and perform my runtime tests. That's it for the update. Uh, I guess uh, the next part is to assemble it to the engine and attach the linkage and give it a go. All right, before I assemble the shroud, I want to give you a look at the uh, at the speed regulation mechanism on this engine. As the as the cooling fan draws air in through the screen and pushes the air up over the top of the up, up over the top of the cylinder head and out the back side to keep the engine cool, it also actuates this flapper mechanism right here which is tied to the throttle linkage and as the speed increases it actually closes the throttle okay that's fully closed and that's wide open throttle and what happens is this mechanism regulates the speed of the engine regardless of the load within a very a pretty tight tolerance so it's a very good speed regulation mechanism and when I place the the engine under load by turning on the um, driving lights that I have uh, attached to the alternator this will actually regulate the speed and keep the engine going at a constant speed and open up the throttle relative to the uh, demand being placed on the engine so this really is the perfect test platform for determining whether or not the uh, HHO created by the engine can actually increase the net overall efficiency of the engine. In order to put gas in it, all I do is loosen up the jar, drop it down, pour measured amounts of gas in, put it back up, and just screw it into place and there you have it. The way this project has fallen together is just incredible. Everything just fell together the way it was supposed to. Um, I can't believe the way this thing has come together so far. I, I just hope the results are as spectacular as, uh, as, the, uh, as the way this thing came together because it just went together so smooth. So tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning I will be uh, throwing some gas in this thing and hopefully I won't have to rebuild the carburetor. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and uh, keep your fingers crossed and I hope to have some good news for you.